In today's video, we're taking a look at how to upgrade from a Renegy PWM controller to a Victrom MPPT charge controller. Easy and simple. It's so easy, anyone could do everything that we use on the video. We're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. That does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and upgrading is in your mind. Going from the old to the new seems like a good idea. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. Behind the bus, a plane ride away, but a back is a back. And we're gonna be replacing our Renegy Wanderer 30 amp PWM charge controller to a Victron Smart Solar MPPT 150 slash 45, meaning it can handle up to 150 volts and, and a maximum charging current of 45 amps. The word smart on the name means you can connect via Bluetooth, via an app, and see your analytics from a tablet, phone, computer, or laptop. As you can see, just like the Wanderer, it does not have a screen, meaning you would need the app to verify the information. Also compared to other MPPT charge controllers, this one is very compact, which is a form factor that we do like. So the general idea is that the PWM throws out any extra voltage above the battery charging needs, making it less efficient than an MPPT charge controller. That's why a parallel connection is best for a PWM controller. But in the other hand, the MPPT controller is more efficient the higher the voltage. So in theory, making the MPPT better in shady areas and therefore in general, charging your batteries faster in less time. And we say in theory because you know as a DIYer how like Life, is. life has a funny way of drop kicking you to the face and saying there's no sunlight hours today. It's cloudy. But we know you, grasshopper. You fall and you get back up again because that's what DIYers do. And no matter if you're using this particular brand or a different one, the technique will be the same. The only indicators that we have are three LED lights on the right side of the controller, which is for bulk absorption and float stage. The maximum wire that this particular charge charge controller can accept is six gauge. We have a VE direct port, which you can use to connect a laptop via USB or connect via the internet or LAN using additional accessories. But if you wanna go old school, the manual way, we do have a rotary switch to the right side, which you can select eight pre-programmed battery charge algorithms. On the other side, we have the ground screw. As you can see, we have a metal construction on the back to dissipate heat and to be able to best achieve this according to the owner's manual it should be mounted vertically with the terminals facing downward and now that we filled your brain with data we're ready for the install and with the install we mean the removal we're going to remove our pwm controller first and because the last thing we want is to go from a small project to a big project or even to die on a clear sunny day we're going to take the extra precautionary steps of first turning Turning off our inverter. Then we're gonna turn off our switch that provides energy from the battery to the inverter. Next, we're gonna turn off our breaker that provides from our solar array energy to our charge controller. And remember, if you don't have a breaker, you can always cover your solar panels. And lastly, we're gonna turn off our switch that provides energy from the battery to the charge controller. And remember, a great rule of thumb is when removing, the last one you wanna turn off is your charge charge controller. When installing, the first one that you want to turn on is your charge controller. Now that you broke your system, we're ready for the disassembling. We're going to start by removing the wires coming from our solar panels or from our breaker from our solar panels. And remember, the ancient technique passed down generation to generation of lefty loosey righty tighty. If in your case, you have a temperature sensor like in our system, we can go ahead and remove that now. If you have any Bluetooth monitor, Modules, we want to go ahead and remove that as well. Now we're going to remove the wires coming in from our battery. And remember, with inflation, you want to save all the wires. Like a great philosopher once said, you never know what you don't know. Once all the wires are removed, we're ready to 
to remove our PWM charge controller from the wall, from the plywood, from the floor, from the bucket, from the cooler, no matter where your charge controller is, we're not gonna judge. Because we know you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. Just remember, the less people that know that, the longer your reign will be. Especially when it comes to loved ones, family members, or friends, or even roommates. That's why they say treasures are kept secret. Wink, wink. And now you've done it. You broke your system, you have no energy coming in, and the sun is fully outside. We all know when you put the system back on, it'll get cloudy again. Now we're ready to install our new MPPT charge controller. If you notice on our previous video, where we went from a PWM to a Renegy Rover MPPT charge controller, that charge controller was a lot bigger. This is more compact and easier to maneuver around on your installation wall. Next, the first thing that we want to do, and this is dependent on your case as well, we want to replace our solar panel breaker from 30 amps to 50 amps. If you're able to find a 45 amp one, you can as well. Or that would also be depending on your barbecue paper, I mean on your owner's manual, fuse rating information according to your charge controller. As you can see, our wires on top are a little thicker. We went from 10 gauge to 6 gauge. And that's a glimpse to our future video where we're going from 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. Where we took advantage and not only upgraded the system, but also upgraded the wires that came with our initial solar kit from the manufacturer. Always remember lefty loosey, righty tidy. As you can see, we're also using ferrules on the wire tips. We will also have a future video on how to crimp ferrules as well. And always remember the ancient rule passed down generation to generation, which is once you tighten the wire, you always want to do a little pull to verify that it is snugly in there. Because the last thing you want after all that work is barbecue smell on a non barbecue day. Now we're also going to replace the switch breaker coming from our battery to our charge controller. We're going from a 30 amp as well to a 50 amp. And let's say if in your case, in either of the breakers, you're not pulling that much amps, you can probably stay with the same breaker. In our case, what we're future proving the wires and the breakers for our next system where we're going to be upgrading from a 400 watt solar array to a close to almost 1300 watt solar array system. And we will be able to do this because we're going from 12 volts to 24 volts. Another thing that we liked from this charge controller compared to the Rover one, which was only 12 volt or 24 volt MPPT charger, this Victron one can handle 12 volts, 24 volts, 36 volts, and even 48 volts battery voltage. So with this particular charger with 12 volts, you can have a maximum of 650 watts of solar panels with 24 volts up to 1336 volts. You can have 1950 and with a 48 volt system, you can have 2600 watts. So this does help future proof the system for the future after the past, right after the present. But let's say in your case, you don't have to change the breakers, you can jump to the next step. And now that our breakers are upgraded, and remember, just like we said before, we always want to start with the battery to the solar charger that's going to help protect our investment. We're going to start with our negative wire coming from our battery or from our switch coming from our battery. And then we're going to install our positive wire coming from our battery. And remember, the ancient technique passed down generation to generation of lefty Lucy righty tighty. And remember, once you feel it tight, that's good enough. The last thing you want is to break your new toy. We always want to snug at the wire just to verify that it's not coming out there. Another pro tip, after you tighten it and you use the system, you always want to come back a few hours later and verify if any of the wires need any retightening. Now we're ready to install our wires coming from our solar panel or from our solar panel breaker or switch. 
remember once again you don't want to over tighten you want to pull on the wire once you finish tightening just to verify that the wires are not leaving its home and lastly you do want to come at least a few hours in or the next day and retighten the wires to verify that nothing is loose in there now we're ready to reverse engineer our way to glory we're going to turn on our breaker or switch from the battery to the mppt charger it's going to turn on if you haven't downloaded your victron app we want to go ahead and do that now we're going to turn on our bluetooth we're going to add the device and the first thing that we want to do is go to the gear icon at the right top corner select the type of battery that we're going to use by clicking on battery then battery preset then edit presets and then choose the battery type that we're using in this case we're using a lithium iron phosphate battery so we're choosing the one that says life hole as our determined preset and depending on your system is the battery type that you're going to choose you're going to also use user defined and add your own parameters after having our system running for a few days now we have noticed a big change we're always hitting the 340s and the 370s more constant and usually what our batteries would need the full five sun hours a day we're getting to full charge sometimes in two to three hours now that we configured our battery type we can turn on our breaker for our solar panel or uncover them then turn on our breaker for our battery to inverter and then turn on our inverter and now you've done it you went from old school to new school you received your black belt on controlling things don't forget if you like the video please give us a thumbs up that really helps if you have any questions place them in the comment section below either someone on the status box team or someone on the youtube community can help you out with an answer don't forget to subscribe follow us on social media thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video